Hey, it's Les from the TV Dudes. This week, I talk with Connie Giordano about her latest project, Mayor of Easttown. Connie plays Patty Del Rosso in the limited drama series, alongside Academy Award winner Kate Winslet, Gene Smart, Guy Pierce, and Evan Peters. The series is on HBO and HBO Max now. Connie is also an accomplished stage actress, as well as an on-air guest for QVC and HSN. We talk about all that, plus the Delco accent, and much more. Hope you enjoy. Hey, Connie, thanks so much for taking the time today. I really appreciate it. Hey, Les. Oh, my gosh, my pleasure. How are you today? I'm doing great. Uh, so I, I I actually just, literally just caught up on the, the third episode of, of Mayor, uh, Mayor of Easttown. Wow. And uh, mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. That, that first episode yeah. feels so lived in and... I had read about the accent being something that that Kate Winslet had really wanted to nail, and and I really <laughs> it feels like such a particular space, and and really feels like part of the character of the show. Uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, auditioning for it? What you knew about it? Uh, it's a rather twisty, turny show with a with a really great murder mystery at its heart. So I don't want to spoil anything, but mm-hmm. what what did you know about it? And what was the audition process like? Um. So I auditioned. Two years ago, because, uh, you know, COVID kind of interrupted everything for about six months. So this has been in the works for a while. Um, it, uh, initially, I didn't know Kate was on the project until after my audition. Um, I auditioned with a local casting director in Philadelphia and honestly didn't hear for weeks and weeks and thought I was done. <laughs> and and then got a surprise message. I didn't even get a call back, which is what I you know, normally expect as an actor to go back and, and, uh, and audition again. And so I, I just had let it go to my disappointment. And then um, seven o'clock in the morning, uh, it was in October of 2018. I get a I get a message from my agent saying, "Guess what?" <laughs> so um, you know, it was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, it feels like it's been a, a long haul, you know. It's been two years now, so it's. Um, I'm just so delighted to see it all come to fruition now. Uh, in in terms of of getting to watch it, I, I know oftentimes, you know, you might film a movie or or film a show and uh, have not seen the final assembled piece of it. Are you watching it as it goes right now? I am. I am. And, you know, so there's things that have been omitted that, you know, that I worked on and, and that's just to be expected um, because, you know, the final cut is the editor and the director's choice. And so it, it, it's already different than what I filmed and it's already different from what I read. But the one thing that's not different is the um, the intrigue. I, I, I was so happy after watching the first episode that it came across as um thrilling and kind of a cat and mouse that it was when I read it, you know, it was, it was such a, it's such a whodunit. And I kept thinking I knew what was going on and I wasn't, which to me is a great sign of a good writer <laughs> because every, every episode I found out I was wrong <laughs> and that was great. I love surprises. It, it feels like a show where nearly every character, at least in the first couple of episodes is established as having some very realistic life disappointments or, or some disappointments in other people. There's, there's kind of a whole town with a low grade anger motive going. Uh, particularly, mm-hmm. uh, your character Patty gets to uh, play the parent of of Brianna, who is a, a character in the first couple of episodes that, that feels like a wild card. I don't mm-hmm. know. We don't know where her anger might go. Nice way of putting it. <laughs> uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, getting into that role and? Uh, playing the concerned parent of someone who's maybe not a likable character, but she's your kid in the show. So you're going to love her. Sure. Absolutely. Um, 
absolutely. Um, first of all, Mackenzie Lansing, who the actress who played my daughter, is, is just delightful. And so we hit it off from the first day I met her. So she made it easy, frankly. Um, my character is, you know, is, a, is a restaurant owner. She's of Italian descent, met, happily married. And I check off almost all those boxes. <laughs> I, um, I'm, I'm known for my, uh, my gravy. I jar my own gravy every fall. I go to Lancaster and buy tomatoes. And, and draw my own gravy and, and use it all year and give it out, et cetera. So I, you know, this was like a role that just fit me like a glove as soon as I, as soon as I read it, you know, and I know my grandmother was thrilled. <laughs> God rest her soul. <laughs> That's great. Uh, just as a yeah. viewer, what's been your favorite part of the, of the show so far? So far. Well, I have to admit, I love seeing all the scenes from, uh, my hometown. I, I grew up not far from where um, East Town is supposed to be, and so it's just so cool seeing shot. You know, things that I wasn't even in. I see scenes from the high school that I know, and parts of um, of the, the Delaware County, and all that. So that's that's just so cool. You know, I don't think this area has been um, so prominent in the media for. In in terms of. Uh of watching, you know, people come in and do a show about this region, being from kind of around there were there moments of like, no, 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 don't eat there. You want to eat over here you, or, or this yeah. store, not that store. Yeah. Yes. Um, actually with, um, some of the actors on the set, they were, what they were looking for was where can we go to hear the Delco accent, which has been a talk of the show and particularly with, with Kate. So I was definitely advising them on, on what restaurants and what bars to go to to be sure they could hear that so that, you know, they could nail it on, on set. I think that was the biggest question I got about the area. <laughs> That's great. Now, uh, yeah. you've also done uh, stage work. And I I don't know if this is right or wrong, mm-hmm. but I always kind of assume that, that these, these heavier, more prestige drama uh, Sunday HBO kind of shows uh, – maybe lend themselves to, to stage drama. And I, I think that's just because most things I've seen on stage have been heavier plays. Um, mm-hmm. For you, does it, does it feel like a natural move or is it still weird to go from auditioning for plays to, to maybe a self tape or, or going for TV work? Well, it's definitely a different skill. Um, I have done, I've been on camera for many years um, in the commercial world, and I, I've done some films, some independent films in the past, so it's not 100% new for me. But they are two different animals, you know, and I, I mean, I've been doing stage for many years now, I, so I feel that I've, I've mastered that that um, particular style of acting. And I'd like to do the same now with television and film. I mean, theater will, will always be my first love and I will certainly, you know, welcome the opportunity for a great uh, show to, to do on stage, to do a play. Um, again, I, I miss it, frankly. But uh, there, they are two very different animals. And, you know, you just have to find your way. And, and I think that's what I'm doing now with, with film and television, to my, to my delight. You've also done a job uh, in in television that uh, I find fascinating because it, it I feel like every field of entertainment has work that is steady work that people don't necessarily mm-hmm. think is is in that same skill set and hosting anything on QVC uh, I think would be <laughs> both nerve wracking for me I, I it, it seems like just a fascinating gray area between uh, being on camera and acting but it's not quite a f- fake role how did you approach that uh when or when you got that gig so i um i have a strong improv background left uh between school and i used to do improv shows um up on the on the upper west side years ago in manhattan so um i welcome improv so for me uh, qvc and, and hsn was, is where i'm at currently um it's kind of like a combination of improv and sales you know, you do develop, at least in my, with my um, homework, I develop a script for every new product. And, you know, you don't memorize it because you're having a conversation with another person. So it's not, it's not a monologue kind of thing. But, um, you know, it, it all lends to itself, of course. You know, you have to have that comfort level in front of the camera. But it, it, you're right. It's not acting. Um, to me, it's, it's, 
it's a combo of sales and improv. And it's, it's great work. It's certainly put, given a lot of work to actors in, in, in my area, in the Westchester area, in the Philadelphia area. So, you know, we're thrilled about that. Do you ever find yourself falling into the pattern and, and have friends going out to stop HSNing me? You're, you, I, could, I can hear you selling it. I'm sorry, can you say that again? I'm sorry. Do you ever find yourself falling into that pattern and, and having friends go that you're, you're selling me? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I do. Every once in a while, I'll, you know, I make a joke out of it. And I'll say, you know, comes in four colors. And my friends are like, there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, it just becomes habit because I've been doing it over 15 years. Um, but I'm so grateful for the work. And, it's, and it is and it is great training for being on camera, you know, because uh, it's live. So, like I said, it, it, it does feel like improv because, you know, you're, you're out there without a net. And I've had some crazy mishaps, but not as many as others. I've been very fortunate with, with the products that I've um, represented, but it does happen and you have to be, you have to be quick on your feet. I was about to say, I, I assume you just have to press forward and, and, and roll with it really comes down to kind of your presence and, and wit on screen. Yep. Yep. You know, I mean, I've had products break at two o'clock in the morning on air and you just have to keep going. I mean, in the way it's like to play, you just have to keep going and do the very best you can. So it happens, but it does keep you on your toes. And it's never boring. <laughs> well, so far, Mare has not been boring either. And in terms of watching uh, at home without spoiling anything, or, what are you hoping folks uh, kind of get out of the series? Well, I hope they get a, a taste for this area. It's, I think it's a unique area of the country. I, I love this whole area. We're so close to New York and D.C. and we're, we get the Jersey Shore. It's such a wonderful area. So I do hope people um, will recognize that um, about the show. And also, I just love, I mean, I get messages almost every day from uh, family and friends saying they think they know who did it. And I, I have to admit, <laughs> I'm just eating it up. Sworn to secrecy, so I can't say word. And they all try to look at me and, you know, test my face. And then I'm like, you know, nope, sorry. I, you know, signed an agreement. <laughs> I'm just going to list every character on the show and see if one of your eyes moves at all. Yeah. I know. A lot of it's been texting, so I've had that advantage that I did over the weekend. Have, you know, so it's really funny. It is. Thank you so much for talking to me about it today. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the show and finding out for myself and I uh, and hope everybody gets to check it out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Wes. I hope you enjoy it. I, did you say you're all caught up in three episodes? Yes. Yeah. I just finished episode three. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, so now, uh, now I think at, at half the town, I, I, I had like three suspects. Now we're up to, you know, a half dozen mm -hmm. or so. Uh, right. I think everybody at, at this point, <laughs> everybody could have took a shot at this. I, I don't know. <laughs> I love it. That's good writing, right? Right. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. You bet, Les. Take care. Thanks again. TV Dudes is an independently run podcast out of Austin, Texas. We are exclusively listener supported. If you'd like to help us out, go to patreon.com slash TV Dudes. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at TV Dudes. All the music for our show is done by our friend and original TV dude, Gregory J. Amani Smith. To find out more about us, go to the TV Dudes.com. I'm Randy Lander. I'm Les Weiler. And I'm Kyle Scott. Thanks for listening. <laughs>